Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have x cubed and its whole square root equals to square root of 64 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So uh, here to, in order to find the value of x, first we need to eliminate the square root sign on both of the sides. Uh, so for this we will take scaling on both of the sides. So when you take scaling it will be written as a, a square root of x cubed and its whole square equals to square root of uh, 64 and its whole square. So now you see here these two and square root are gone and we will obtain x cubed equals to these two and square root are gone and we get a 64. Uh, so further in the next step uh, here we need to move the 64 in the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed minus 64 equals to 0. So uh, you see here uh, this equation will become the cubic in x variable so uh, here we can uh, apply the cubic formula in order to solve this problem. So here we know that if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this cubic formula we can solve this equation so here you see that the base of this equation is a and here first we uh, rewrite this into the cubic form uh, for this uh, we know that uh, 64 equals to 4 cubed so we write this equation as x cubed minus 4 cubed and this is equals to 0. So here you see that the base of this equation is our a and the base of this equation is our b uh, and now here uh, we will substitute these two values of a and b in the right hand side of uh, this formula. So after substituting these values uh, it will be written as first you have a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is 4 into this is a square the value of a is x a, it will becomes x square plus a b the value of a is x and the value of b is 4 plus b equals to 4 square and this is equals to 0 uh, so here further in the next step we need uh, some simplifications here so we see that this is x minus 4 times of uh, x square plus x times of 4x equals to 4x and this 4 square equals to 16 and this is equals to 0. So here further in the, in the next step uh, we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 4 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square plus 4x and plus 16 equals to 0. So from here uh, we get the value of x is equals to 4. So this is the, our first real root of the given equation. Uh, and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, so that here we solve this quadratic equation uh, by applying the quadratic formula. Uh, so for a quadratic formula first we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 16. Uh, and uh, we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the over quadratic formula and now here we substitute the values of a, b and c here. Uh, so the value of b is 4 so we substitute it here and it will be written as x equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of b square b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a equals to 1 and now here in the next step we need more simplification then it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square uh, so this 4 square equals to 16 minus this is 4 multiplied by 16 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. 
and now here uh, we need some simplification because we write our answer into the simplified form for this we uh, write this equation as minus 4 plus minus here you see that we have 16 be the common term so that when you take common 16 we will obtain here 1 and here we get minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as x is equals to minus 4 plus minus here you see that the square root of 16 equals to 4 into square root of this is 1 minus 4 and we know that 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications uh, so here we have x is equals to minus 4 plus minus this is 4 times here we can uh, just break this fraction and uh, sorry we can break this square root and we can write this square root separately on negative term and uh, this 3 so it will be written as uh, square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So further in the next step uh, we have uh, here we know about the square root of minus 1 we know that the square root of minus 1 equals to iota so we replace this square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So here further in the next step we need to break this fraction and we can write this uh, uh, two separately on both of these values so it will be written as x is equals to minus 4 divided by 2 plus minus 4 times of square root of 3 divided by 2 into iota. So here we need uh, some uh, simplifications and uh, we have this is 2 times of 2 is 4 this is also 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we obtain minus 2 plus minus 2 times of uh, square root of 3 into iota. So these are the uh, other two roots of the given equation. So finally we have uh, the three roots of the given equation are. Uh, so the first root of the given equation is uh, x1 uh, is equals to uh, minus 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 3 iota this is the first root of the given equation and the second root is x2 equals to sorry here we write the positive value second root is minus 2 minus 2 times of uh, square root of 3 iota and the third root is uh, x3 is equals to 4 so we have these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos